everyone. This probably won't come as a surprise to you that after my short travel series I've decided to do a travel vlog. But we've just landed in Geneva and this was actually a surprise trip for Jas's birthday. Hello everyone, I'm really surprised. Can't believe how she pulled this one off. Trust me, uh, I'm actually glad to be here. This is a good surprise, Geneva. I'm looking forward to the trip. We've just literally bought our train tickets. We normally we always get a taxi from the airport we thought let's just do something a bit different because we are going to be taking the train or the tram or buses or whatever it is quite a bit while we're here and we're only actually here for two days it's a long weekend well no it's not even a long weekend it's just a weekend <laughs> and we're actually leaving tomorrow night so we've just landed and we're just going to make our way to the station now hello everyone it's jess here i'm so excited Oh, you won't believe what happened. Last night, Missy gave me the shock to my sister because she said, oh, we're going somewhere tomorrow for your birthday. My birthday is actually tomorrow, but she's uh, surprised me today. And uh, we're now in Geneva and I'm in a moving train from the airport to our hotel. <laughs> we're moving left and right. Oh, we are moving left and right, yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited. I think I've got every word he said. So we've just spent about an hour trying to find a coffee <laughs> and there's not very many cafes here or places where they actually do coffee or not that we've seen anyway um, and there's really not a lot near the actual lake or the part that we were in but um, we ended up in a restaurant and you know we just had a coffee outside so it was quite nice. So now I think we're ready to actually check into the hotel. It is exactly three o'clock and I think I just want to check in, have a shower, just do my makeup all over again. I did just pop into a pharmacy just to see if they have any drugstore makeup that we don't actually get in the UK. All I could see was L'Oreal so <laughs> that wasn't happening but I'm still on the hunt for Sephora. You had, this, you had a Sephora address but guess what, is it actually a US address? <laughs> <laughs> the day before we left when I first woke up I suddenly had a brainwave and I was like oh maybe they have a Sephora here because you know some places in Europe do so I quickly googled it and I copied and pasted it onto my phone but I think I copied and pasted a, um, an address in the US so I'm showing people in this restaurant that we were in and they were like we don't have roads called like common drive and that's a zip code not like a postcode that we would have so that was a bit of a fail, but hopefully I'll be able to use the Wi-Fi at the hotel and find the actual address for Sephora here and... They must have thought you're bonkers, they're just asking them where Sephora is in the US on the map. <laughs> Where's well, <is> it Sephora? <laughs> I don't know what I did, I'd just woken up, I was in bed and I had this brainwave and I was like, oh Sephora! So we've just checked in and our hotel is so nice. We actually left our luggage when we came earlier and uh, we just asked for it and showed her the ticket and she was like, no, we've just already left it in your room as if it's like normal. And I was like, ah, oh, it's such a nice hotel there. Let me show you around. We've just got out the lift. Bonjour. And we're looking for our room. Oh my God, this is such a nice room. What's this say? Happiness consists in realizing it is all a great strange dream. Wow. That's really cool. <laughs> I can see you, yeah. yeah. Let's swap. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so weird. It's like a mirror on this side. I thought I'd have a quick shower just to freshen up. Jas was having a little nap. I'm going to hopefully try and film some of my makeup. So I've literally just emptied my toiletry bags out here and I found an ice bucket. So hopefully that will work as a makeshift. <laughs> stand for my camera while I film myself doing my makeup.
actually died while I was doing my makeup, but I was pretty much done anyway. I just straightened my hair and put it up into just a not a very neat quiff because it's quite warm outside. So I'm not too sure if I'm still going to wear this blazer. It's a new one that I've recently bought, but I'll try and do a quick outfit of the day with my selfie stick. I don't know how this is going to work. So I have growing a new top with this blazer, just leggings and flats. I'm not sure if you saw that, but if not, I'll edit it out. Would you like to do an outfit of the day, Jess? Oh, the outfit of my day is actually <laughs> this one here. Okay, here we are. So this is, I've got some sunglasses on, the Gucci ones I bought from Sunglasses Hut in the US. And I've got this t-shirt I bought a couple of days ago from New Look. These jeans I bought about a couple of years ago. From <laughs> I think they're super dry. Super dry. And these are Calvin Klein. No, no Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole. Kenneth Cole shoes from the um, from US as well. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, we're only shopping in the US is what we're trying to say. We're actually off to get lunch, straight dinner, and it's actually now half five, so we've been faffing around in the hotel room for such a long time. I wanted to flip this round just to show you how nice our hotel is. We've got like a little library. So cool. They've got these really cool statues everywhere that remind us of the Saatchi Gallery. Look guys, it's my initials. This is not actually the only reason that I booked the hotel, but envy. <laughs> been to Geneva before but it was just over a year ago and I really don't remember a lot of where I went so we are going to go for dinner but we don't have any like recommendations or we're just kind of going with the flow so it's not like we've planned anything so what we're going to do is probably go for a walk and and then just hopefully we'll find something but I think we should ask at the hotel yeah. Uh, restaurant recommendations apart from their own. So. Well, me and Nikki have uh, sat down in dining in a authentic Thai restaurant. Okay. It's actually looked like a small, you know, diner really. With a, and the kitchen looks like a normal kitchen you see in someone's household. So, uh, and it's uh, full of locals, not just tourists. So, uh, we thought we'd give it a go, and uh, our food is ready to come shortly. Look at how cute this place is. That's literally the kitchen. If I can try and zoom in. <laughs> we'll be here. <laughs> so we thought that it would be quite an authentic experience. Am I in it? Yeah, you are. So we thought that it might be quite an authentic experience um, because it's quite busy as well. So we thought we'd give it a go. How oh, would you like to <laughs> See you. Thank you. <laughs> So we've just had dinner at this Thai restaurant and it's called Sushi Boki. Um, but it's really funny, they've actually got a sign that says no sushi outside it because they, well, it's not actually a Japanese restaurant and sushi is Japanese. So we've just had a meal here and <laughs> everyone is staring at me, it's so embarrassing. And so we've just had a meal here and they're super friendly, they're so nice. Yeah, Sushi Boki is the uh, old name. There used to be a, ch a Japanese or Chinese restaurant before, then it got taken over by the, uh, the, the current management. Oh. But it's actually purely a Thai restaurant. And, and the sign says we don't do no sushi, so, because it's not really a sushi <laughs> shop. So that's the... We didn't even clock though when we went yeah. in, we just went straight in because we saw Thai food. We didn't, we didn't even look at the name. but. They're so friendly in here and this man came in who's like a family friend of the owners or something and apparently he eats in here every day after work and he came in and he started piling his food on our plate. He's like, oh you yeah. haven't ordered this, you have to try it. Yeah, they're very friendly um, in there. It's yeah. really funny. I'm trying not to hide here because everyone is looking at me. I just don't think they have selfie sticks in Geneva. So it's been a couple of hours since I last vlogged and we had dinner and we went for a really long walk along the lake and we tried to walk towards the fountain that we saw earlier but it was quite a way away and it got cold so we ended up going all the way back towards our hotel I got my jacket um, and just put on a jumper and now we're out having shusha and this is a birthday 
birthday boy. Hello everyone, yes, I'm not the birthday boy just yet. Well, in about a few hours time, three hours time shall I say, I'll be, it'll be my birthday. I'm not gonna tell you how old I am, you'll have to guess, but make sure it's a low number. <laughs> Still young at heart, that's the main thing. He's just having some shisha and I have a sex on the beach and what are you drinking? Well, just a whiskey and coke to be honest. I'm not sure what whiskey it is. Yeah, it's not very nice. <laughs> um, I haven't even tried my drink yet actually. We've just been sitting here. And it's really weird. We've got some like, I think they're like what, Japanese rice crackers? Yeah, well some marshmallows, um, some nuts I think. Oh, I, I think they're Japanese mixture, rice crackers yeah, and nuts. In there, yeah. So it's now almost 11 o'clock at night and we've been up since 3am so we're so tired. I probably look really shattered um, but you know wearing a ton of makeup does help. But I think after this we're just going to head to bed right? And I guess we have to wake up quite early tomorrow as well because it's our last day, our second and last day. <laughs> it's a really short trip. I feel like this vlog's going to be about three minutes long which is quite funny. But I'm not really too sure what we're doing tomorrow because there's not really a ton of stuff to do in Geneva and like I said before, I have been here and I've done quite a lot of things but I feel like if I took Jas to do them he wouldn't really be interested in a lot of the things that I've done. Like we went to the cathedral and we just sort of went on a kiddie train around the lake where you we were allowed to get off twice and one was to a museum that wouldn't let us in for some reason, so <laughs> I can't really remember what I did and it wasn't even that long ago that I last came. Yeah, that's right, yeah, I've been mean, honest, I'm enjoying it, I mean, it's different, Geneva is not like, I wanted a relaxing holiday, you know, anyway, and uh, it's relaxing, it's not, it's not fast paced, and it's, uh, you know, it's just right for me, you know, so uh, we've seen a lake and that's it, the rest of it, just have a chill out on my birthday, really, just relax. <laughs> Thank you.